All right, my friends, uh, good morning. So today we have a long day, basically. Well, so far we just have, just in case we go pick up the TV, right? Is that right? Yes. And then I'm thinking about, well, I might make a really bad decision depending on if I get approved for it because I applied for a, to see if I qualify for another truck. But the problem is if they approve me, I'm going to have two loans and it's going to be like paying triple. But right now I'm already paying double payment. Well, like you said in the last video, like two payments in one. But if you're paying two cars off. Yeah, that's how. Well, do it'll to, be longer. Yeah, it'll be longer, which is no problem. Just as long as it's a little bit cheaper than what I'm paying now. Because I even told them right now before I put the application in that I'm basically, what, what do you call it? I'm, I'm talking on the phone. I'm not talking. Okay, so with that being said earlier, thinking about, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to see if I qualify to get another truck because due to the one I have now, I've had it for a year. You guys all know it. it's um, kind of like too small, you know? It's like, yeah, the people in the back could barely fit in there when I go shopping and when we put stuff in the back, oh, it's inconvenience you know so i'm trying to see if i qualify for a bigger truck you know even though it's going to probably be more expensive and plus if i if they let me trade in the one i have now it will just add up you know that's why it's inconvenient because i applied at many different places and unfortunately they denied me well nissan yeah i went back to the same nissan to try to see if i could you know because i know they kind of got me good well i'm not pointing fingers but the last dealership i went to where i got the truck yeah they I tried to see if I qualified for a cheap car. Well, not cheap, but you know, they say cars are cheaper. I tried seeing if, you know, I qualified, but unfortunately they wanted a bigger down payment, so they didn't process it. So I'm trying other places right now to see what's happening, even though it's gonna be inconvenient due to my credit score, but hopefully a miracle happens. So I'm praying hard on it. But even if they let me trade it in, depending on whatever place could approve me, yes, I will you know, do a bigger down payment and let them, you know, because I keep being told if they let me trade the truck in, it's just going to add together. But as long as the payment's lower, it's not a problem. Okay, guys, so I'm ending the clip here. So I'm going to try to make this clip a little bit longer. So no luck yet because I applied for a couple of different uh, dealerships. And, of course, they called, you know, due to being interested in the vehicle I, you know, looked uh, picked out. And then, yeah, I keep asking if they work with this kind of credit because I keep telling them what I'm, you know, what's happening. And, of course, they say, you know, we're going to do our best. They're going to try to work with me. So, yeah, we went to Curacao and bought that and a Fender, you know, the thing that plays music. And I was looking at cameras, too, but I noticed that, hey, I'm already stocked up on cameras because I, I have one for, yeah, video camera for my uh, drawings. This one for blogging, the GoPro 8 for when we go out, you know, to big events. And then, um, yeah, then we went to Michael's art store and I got me some, uh, yeah, more Bristol paper for color. And so that's the thing. I'm wondering, this is what I want to talk to you guys about. I'm wondering if I should get another vehicle because I'm asked if things don't work out, would I be willing to keep this, you know, black Nissan? It's not that I'm not happy with it. It's just that I would, you know, I should appreciate it because a car is a car, you know, but also I want, I would like a bigger vehicle for when I, um, you know, when I, uh, like when people roll with me, because when we, like when my sister, sometimes mother and my cousin, yeah, they, they, when they roll with me, sometimes they're, they look like they're almost squished because it's a smaller, it's smaller inside. And then when it comes to like, you know, putting groceries in the back, like if, and stuff that does not have to, um, go in the back, you know, on the bed, the bed part. Yeah. It, it's kind of inconvenient to put them in, you know, the, uh, the back seat. And then when people sit back there, Sometimes, well, even when I sit back there too, sometimes my knees are almost up to my face and then, I don't know, it just feels like the seat is too close to you. So I'm trying to see if I could get a deal on another, maybe something a little bit older and a little bit cheaper too. Because if I, I'll tell her if I go like with the 2011, 12, you know, I wouldn't mind going any younger than 2017. Because I just want, I still want a dependable car, of course, that's going to make it far and stuff. Cause, but that's when I was told, yeah, it's better to, well, it depends. You could apply online and then go to the dealership. Because I was told that it's faster if you go in person. Because if you apply online and if it don't, I mean, yeah, if you apply online, they're going to call you back probably. But still, they're going to keep you waiting. And yes, I was told it's better if you go in person. Because either way, they're still going to tell you your answer, yes or no, whether it's to the phone or in person. It's just that... You know me. You know I said all the time about that rewind feeling, but I realized, you know, what happens. You know, 
that's something not everybody deals with. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about. So I'm even wondering, even I don't know if I said this already, but like how so if things don't work out, would I be willing to keep this truck? I should be able to suck it up, but it's gonna be a real pain to suck it up because it's smaller. You know, I hate to see that. You know, people you know that ride at me are like kind of uncomfortable, and it's kind of like yeah, I just even my Mitsubishi when I had it, yeah, it was spacey and yeah, it, it was. People are always uh, comfortable, you know, in there. It's just that with this truck, even my two cousins, they're just about my size. And when they rolled with me in there, yeah, they, they looked kind of smashed. Then my sister even said, yeah, it is kind of small inside. So, yeah, I need to find out what's going on because well, I don't know what dealerships will, you know, approve of me. Not that I have bad credit, it's just that I was behind. I don't know if it still shows up bad, though, when I uh, apply for, you know, places but i'm trying to think of what to uh do about it though i just gotta find the right place because i'm saying there has to be a place out there that'll uh that'll approve me and uh they, I, that will and that will well i don't know if they'll let me trade the truck in because i i only had it for a year and uh, yeah a half i'd say so i want to uh, work on that and also yeah before i end this clip now I would be happy with the four door, and I even asked my mom too, like, why, why is it like hard for me to suck it up with this truck? And I thought to myself, you know, probably because it's a smaller, you know, it's smaller inside, you know. You wish you had something a little bit bigger, yeah. Right, so yeah, and that, and this, and now I'm gonna end the clip. So please, guys, we really need you guys because we really want to grow this channel. We just don't know what we're not doing. That's we don't know what's. We're not doing so that's not helping the channel grow yeah we just need more ideas because yeah as you can see we did do that spicy noodle challenge that's the first challenge we, well, i've ever done i don't know if like my mom ever did anymore in the channel so i want we need more ideas plus we really need you guys to yeah help us get likes become full-time youtubers that's our goal trying to upload videos as much as we can because we tell we gotta be consistent show talents you know do blogs, you know, do them at least a daily blog or just at least every couple of days, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know. It's just that right now that since we're under, I think, curfew and quarantine still, yeah, it's still kind of hard to, you know, keep these, you know, videos going. Like other than just drawing and blogging when Chella comes and does her laundry or barbecuing in the backyard. We just need more ideas. I'm really, yeah, I'm really... That's my chance to draw, you know, to increase my, well, to improve my art skills. And, yeah, and then I don't know what else to do because I just hope that, yeah, pray hard. Please pray that this goes well for me. I really would like, you know, not dreams, but really goals, I guess, to uh, happen. So, please, remember to follow us on Snapchat and Instagram. And, yeah, so... That's just about it for this video. I will possibly continue tomorrow, depending on if I, whatever, because I, like I said, I applied for a couple of, you know, dealerships, and depending on which one, I feel like I have a better chance at getting to prove that. Yes, I'll go to that one. But like I said, if, you know, I won't feel this girl, I just have to suck it up, but I'm really praying hard that it goes well. So please, we really need you guys to sub to us, like us, and comment, share us, and let us know what you think, and tell everybody about us. So thank you guys, and see you hopefully tomorrow.